Hello ladies and gentlemen, in this video I'm going to be discussing why the paper show model is a terrible business model, okay? But with that being said, let's just get right into it. Now if you're doing lead generation on a paper show basis right now, like you need to watch this full video, honestly, right? Um, this is something that I wish I knew and I was a little bit earlier into my lead generation journey. So this video is basically for, for the past version of me. Okay. But just so we're clear, um, paper show is the act of charging a client for every meeting that you book and the prospect shows up for. Okay. It's one of the most popular beginner lead generation offers, right? This is not to be confused with pay per call, which is when you get paid for every call you book, regardless of whether the person shows up or not. Okay, so that's what I'm referring to. I'm talking about specifically pay per show. Okay, now moving on. The trust factor. This is the number one reason why you shouldn't do this as a model. Now, the number one biggest problem with pay per show is the trust factor. Okay, now I've heard some variation of this question probably like hundreds of times now, which is how do I know if the prospect showed up? How do I know if the client showed up? How do I know if the meeting even happened? Or, you know, you know, just different variations of that question. And a lot of the time when questions like this come up, the answer is always the same. Ask the client to record the call. And then that opens up a bunch of room for other problems. Like, for example, the prospect doesn't want to be recorded, right? We've had a lot of this where the client we're working with is selling a sensitive service and the prospect doesn't want to be recorded. Right. And I mean, you know, our client's not going to go against the prospect's wishes just to fulfill on our requirement. So that's just not that's not going to work. Right. Then the client doesn't want to record the sales calls like straight up. Maybe the client doesn't want to compromise the privacy of his sales call. Right. So then that's a problem. Um, then maybe the client is OK with recording, but he forgets. Right. He just hey, sorry, forgot. OK, that's another problem. Or the client decides to contact the prospect outside of the meeting location. So, for example, um, if the prospect's running late and the client calls them on the phone to have a conversation instead, how is he supposed to record that? Or maybe if the client wants to see if a lead is coming before the call happens, they'll call them up. And these are two problems that you can't really record. Like you, I mean, unless you, I guess, screen record on your phone, which again, isn't professional, like it, it's just not a solid way to running your business, right? Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get right back to the video, but let me tell you about Lead Academy. Now, for those of you who are unfamiliar, Lead Academy is my coaching program. And unlike other coaching programs that cost thousands of dollars, we don't have to lock you in like that. We have two plans. One of them is $49 a month and the other is $99 a month. Now, let me tell you what you're getting for $49 a month. That's com coming out to be $1.63 per day. You get access to me and my partner, Tyler, to help you with anything you might need that's cold outreach related. You get one weekly live coaching call where you get personal support for your business. You get one list a month from store leads built with Clutch, Agency Vista, or Get Latka. You get several hours of on-demand course material going over the stuff we can't share publicly. You get personal help with your cold email scripts, help with your cold email deliverability, help with creating effective angles and offers for your outreach, help with segmentation and personalization at scale, help with mass AI personal personalization and sniper campaigns, access to ready to use SOPs and trainings, access to dozens of people who are running businesses just like you and that are very open to helping, a real uncensored look inside the inner workings of a real lead generation agency, which is Bork's. Help with building your personal brand. Help with growing your Twitter and YouTube accounts. Help with generating inbound quality leads that are aching to work with you. And an inside look into how we're automating and streamlining complex tasks like inbox management and our sales process. We're also going to help you review your scripts and your offers to help prevent mistakes before they happen and so much more. But if you think that's good, let me tell you what you get on the $99 plan. That comes out to be $3.30 a day. That gets you access priority access to me and Tyler. You get everything in the $49 plan plus unlimited lists from built with store leads, clutch, get Latka, and they're all hosted in the cloud. So you just click a button and you get a list. You get two weekly live coaching calls, two opportunities to ask anything you might need to me or Tyler. You get access to our agency's real sales calls and onboarding. So videos, anything you might want to see you have in there group buying sessions. You get our Borks.io landing page template to make a website that looks just like ours. You get video sales letter templates. You get clay tables and automation frameworks. You get steep discounts on big automation projects like the inbox manager, a more exclusive community and so much more coming. 
Okay, now the choice is yours. It's either $49 or it's $99. And there's no minimum commitment. You don't like it, we'll give you a full refund, no questions asked within your first month. But you like it, we're gonna give you everything you need to succeed with your cold outreach. And you're gonna get clients and you're gonna stay forever. So please take a look. That's all I ask. Or the prospect no shows and then they rebook with the client. How are you supposed to know? Did they rebook? When did they rebook for? Did they show up? Your client could just not mention it to you and that's it. That lead is gone. You did everything right and that lead is just gone. Okay. Now, whenever most of these points are brought up, people say, well, just call up the lead after, right? But then that creates even more problems. It's not only unnecessary work, which is very hard to automate because you can't just hire a random guy from the Philippines you know, to just call for your company. You know, this is a very sensitive part of the business. And if your revenue is directly correlated to some random guy calling, that's not going to be, uh, that's not going to be a good idea, right? Then a feeling that you don't trust the client, which you shouldn't trust the client, but they're not going to like that. You shouldn't tell them that you don't want, you know, you don't trust them. Right. And then also sometimes the lead won't pick up. So you're going to need to follow up with them. So you're going to have to set up some sort of system where you're tracking. Who did you follow up with? When do you follow up with them? When do you need to follow them next? And overall, it is honestly just such a messy way of doing business. I would I would not recommend it. OK. And overall, it's just a very conflicted model that relies on trust. And most work relationships that rely purely on trust ultimately fail more than they succeed. OK, the next component, the factors that are out of your control. Now, in order to explain this part, I'd love to reference some statistics. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar, I'm actually the co-founder of Borks.io. Uh, we are a cold email lead generation agency and we target all sorts of B2B companies, but primarily marketing agencies. Now, our show up rate on cold traffic. OK, and make sure we you know, we have that down cold traffic is 80 to 85 percent okay now why is that number one vsl on the landing page clearly depicts our offer number two post call vsl after someone books a call they don't just watch the normal vsl then they get an opportunity to watch another vsl this is the post booking vsl it's an hour long and it's literally a video of me like just like this style right like computer camera microphone going over our entire lead generation process and listen if that person watches that entire video it's in the bag like straight up if a person watches in one hour video and gets nurtured by you speaking for an hour like they're basically closed when they show up right that's another thing. Then case studies. These are seamlessly integrated in both the VSL, um, both the pre-booking one and the post-booking one and all over the landing page. Okay. Client interviews and reviews. We have prominently displayed client interviews right at the top of the website and reviews all throughout. Okay. Then high quality and value-based reminders. Then on top of that, we also send reminders on both email and text messages, which function as value because we actually share valuable information in them. But also, also it obviously works as a reminder to remind the person we have a call schedule. Then we also make it very easy to reschedule. A lot of people have this very broken mentality of if they remove the reschedule button, people won't reschedule, right? Like think about how crazy that is. Just because you remove the reschedule button, sure, people won't reschedule. They just won't show up. And that's even worse, right? People rescheduling with you is a good thing, if anything, right? Because that means that they intend on showing up is just the time they originally booked in for. It doesn't work anymore, okay? So we make that, that reschedule button very, very prominent on every single email. And I'll show that email in a little bit, okay? Then the no-show follow-up. Now, we have a custom sequence. So let's just say that the per let's say all of these things happen and they still no showed. We have a sequence which is going to follow up for two entire months over email and SMS. On top of the fact I'm going to be calling them personally, okay? And because of this sequence and this process, we have about a 50% win back on no show rates. Meaning, if 10 people no show because of this automation flow, about five of them will actually end up rebooking with us, right? Meaning, of that 80%, sure. 20% still no show, but we end up getting back 50% of that 
okay now all of these factors combined you know in in a result in us having an 80 to 85 percent show up rate on cold b2b prospects in the marketing and advertising niche now when your revenue is determined by the show up rate and you don't even have control over the show up rate that starts to become a problem now unless you plan to build out a full scale sales process for every single one of your clients which by the way we will we will not take anything under five thousand dollars for that minimum we're talking that's like a friend of a friend discount right then you can't really rely on what the client has because booking a lead is only part of the equation in this situation right you book the lead but you still need them to show up and you don't have control over whether they show up or not and if you think that because you set up two little reminders on calendly that these prospects are just going to show up all of a sudden well then you're in for a rude awakening because it's not going to happen right there's other components to a show up rate like for example a vsl landing pages case studies right these aren't things that you're going to make for your client because it's just not your responsibility right at that point you're becoming like a growth partner more than a lead generation agency okay and from my experience 99 percent of prospects are not going to have anything like this set up meaning you're doing everything right the prospect or the, the client doesn't have the right system set up in place and you're suffering because of it okay so to conclude there's just too many factors in that process that you cannot control and therefore i don't think it's a good idea because of that okay now this is how our emails look as soon as somebody books this is what they get they get an email right here saying hey we booked a call that with the time uh visit post booking page this is to remind them to watch that that after post booking vsl uh hey, and then we say hey it's george from Bork. just wanted to send a right quick note to say we've got your booking all squared away in the meantime why not check out the preparation video on our post booking page then they have a button right here to reschedule the call they have a button right here to watch the video another prompt to watch the video then we tell them again what are we going to cover in the call uh, we're going to be covering your offer what's holding you back from booking more calls your your target audience and some people or and the people that you need to be getting in contact with and also the ideal channels where you could easily reach your ideal clients on then we say what are we expecting from you please ensure that you're in a quiet place uh, please show up to the call and then we also recommend you take time to prepare for the call by watching the pre-call video and then we also have a bunch of our case studies here and then um, a couple of sales assets uh, our blogs and then just like a, like a quick footer right and that's and that's how that email looks it's very simple um, but it gets the job done okay now moving on then the last point is the type of prospects that you're going to attract now if the prospects you're speaking with are only interested in paper show it's most likely that you're speaking to the wrong types of prospects okay any sensible business owner would acknowledge that during any engagement with another company there is risk present on both sides okay when the prospect wants the service provider which is you to take on the like the majority of the risk it means the prospect isn't really good at taking risks which typically means they're not very good business owners because you don't make a big business by playing it safe you make a big business by taking risks right taking chances you know taking odds that's how you become a successful business owner right now for all of you guys doing legion i want you guys to just remember one thing and every time you start thinking that oh i can't close clients this and that i want you to remember this okay keep in mind that the big lead generation firms will go charge 20 to thirty thousand dollars as an engagement fee okay then hit you with a ten thousand dollar per month retainer and then also revenue share on top okay and the only reason that they're able to do that is because number one they're actually good at what they do right so 20 to 30k seems like a lot but not when you end up making your client two to three million okay and then on top of that they also don't work with broke clients okay and they don't just sell that right people are lining up to buy it and that's only possible when you're working with the type of client that isn't a broke business owner and i promise you there aren't many million dollar brands out there or million dollar companies who are lining up for paper show because anybody offering paper show probably isn't experienced right and anybody offering paper clothes is, is even worse so that's my take on this subject um 
obviously if it's working for you then you know that that's good but for the majority of people i wouldn't recommend you do it so with that being said that is the end of the video if you guys did enjoy please like and subscribe at the time of recording this i think we have around 1500 subscribers so if you do subscribe or like like i will literally notice you individually but with that being said thank you guys for watching and until next time